Hello there, my name is Ismaus and welcome to another Blender tutorial series. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at procedure texturing in Blender 2.8, uh, specifically how to texture uh, this overcado here. And uh, yes, yeah, so if you want to see how I modeled the overcados here, uh, you can just go to my second Blender channel and uh, watch uh, the time lapse uh, there. Uh, you can also see how I UV unwrapped uh, this, which is not going to be necessary for UV unwrapping is not going to be necessary for this uh, for the procedure texturing because we're going to be using object uh, coordinate mapping instead of UV uh, mapping, so so as to avoid uh, these seams uh, that are created by um, UV mapping or UV seams. And uh, then after we can bake uh, the procedure textures directly onto the UV map using uh, to, so that we can pre we can create a PBR uh, kind of texture. Uh, shader. So yeah, let's get started uh, by creating these uh, bumps or outer layer there. So yeah, let me remove this uh, UV grid and uh, add a noise texture to create these bumps. Also, I'll just use Shift A uh, texture and uh, let's go add in a noise texture. You can preview this node by holding down Shift, sorry, Control Shift and then click the node uh, if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled. So uh, you can see the scale is a bit high, so I'll just reduce this. So I don't think this is going to really work well. Uh, the noise texture here can, will bring out the details uh, that we want here. So let's try a different uh, texture. So Shift A, uh, let's try Mass Grave. You can always uh, try out different uh, textures here to see if you get anything closer to what you want. Let's also look at uh, where am I? Control Shift click. And if I scale this down, you can see it's not giving us uh, that pattern. Uh, let me try this mass grave. And if I scale this, I think this is much, much better. Uh, but uh, I think uh, the contrast of these is, uh, is a bit high. So let's see how it looks with uh, as a bump map. So I'll con add a bump map, then connect this to the height and then this to the normal. And I can preview this shader now. Uh, let's see, let's see. You can see this is what we have. Uh, if I reduce uh, the strength, the strength here, you can see what we are getting. But I usually don't like using uh, contro controlling uh, the strength of a bump, a bump map of a specific node. I like this. I uh, using the bump map. What? Uh, because uh, we, we're going to be using different mixing different nodes here. So I don't want to control uh, this node uh, by the strength of this bump map uh, created by this node uh, using this strength. Uh, so what I'm going to add do is add a convert math node here. And uh, depending on uh, the operation you choose uh, for this math node, you will get different results. So if I play around with this add operation, uh, sometimes you have to turn on clamp uh, to kind of see any changes. Uh, so let's see. Let's see uh, the effect we're getting with the add operation. Uh, but uh, you can try power. This is, uh, this could be great for a sci-fi kind of, I don't know, material. But uh, uh, let's try, I think uh, multiply worked best when I was trying this out. So let's go with that. Just give it a moment. A uh, turn off clamp uh, for multiply. Let's see. And see now, instead of controlling uh, the bump uh, from here, I can control it uh, directly here. And the reason I'm setting it up, I'm setting this up like this, is that. Uh, Say I want to add another, to have this also influence uh, the bumps on this, uh, on the shader. I can also, I can just add a mix RGB curve. Uh, connect this uh, to the color there. And just connect color to color, and then this to this. Let's just see. I actually use factor instead of color. 
then I can choose how the blending mode I want let's try multiply and let's just go with mix uh, so that we can just use this value here and then I can I can connect this directly to the height map now if you preview the bumps Now we can control how much these different nodes contribute uh, to the overall bump uh, by controlling the values here. So just give it a moment to compile. It's taking too long. Okay, you can see that uh, this noise is overpowering uh, the mass grave. Uh, so I can just push it down or push through uh, this mass grave uh, texture but you can see we still have uh, that noise coming through and uh, if uh, if the bump uh, the mass grave texture is coming through too much I can also just use this value here to control how much of it comes through and now if I want to control the overall bump I can just use uh, this strength I think this is not too bad. Uh, maybe I can reduce uh, the strength just a little bit, like so. So this is going to be our bump uh, for the outer layer. Now let's start looking at the color here. So I'm just going to add, maybe we can do that in the second uh, part so that this is not too long. Thanks for watching.